A clearer picture is beginning to form around Zandile Mafé, the alleged parliament arsonist, and the terrorism charge against him. He's expecting to hear about his bail application on Friday. The prosecution wants him kept in jail, but Mafé says he has no threat to society. The state has nothing to fear, uh, from, of nothing to fear that I won't come back to court because that uh, I mentioned that I will sue the state and that uh, my address is in Kailicha and also in Mafeking. They know those addresses. At his bail hearing last week, the prosecution explained the terrorism charge. And at the root of it, it is a 10 rand bottle of petrol, which Mafe allegedly paid for at a petrol station in Belleville. This, they said, is what he used to burn down Parliament. You had earlier told him that you bought 10 rands of petrol from a garage in, in Belleville, which you poured into a Coke bottle. You then agreed to go and show the police where you bought the petrol and where you entered the Parliament. Huh? No comment. Mafia had been diagnosed as schizophrenic by a state psychiatrist. However, he denies he has ever had mental health problems. <laughs> One question at a yes. time. Have you ever been diagnosed with uh, mental illness? Not at all. I was never diagnosed that I'm mentally disturbed or anyone suggested so. Even at the time I was employed, uh, there was never anything like that up until it's the state doctor who diagnosed me that I'm mentally disturbed. He also told the court about his speech impediment, his stutter. Not at all, but maybe the state might think differently or might think that I'm mentally disturbed. Me stuttering doesn't mean that I'm mentally disturbed. But Mafe isn't the helpless, homeless man many initially suspected him to be. In a strange moment in court, he admitted to knowing and being friends with former AWB leader Eugene Tablanche. Uh, from Mafe King, were you ever, did you ever find yourself in Ventersdorf area, uh, that, that side of the world? Zindao Zang if this dog is it as got as got a do you cheat their blanche a popular my blast so i can walk on in let him back your kids in those are my places uh they in the owners of those farms in fender store viewership are my friends those are eugene terra blanche and he also said he protested the continued incarceration of chris honey's killer janice wallace and uh what about janice wallace are you they are also in in in, in There in the books I wrote that Mr. Jalus Walus must be released in letters on the 11th of February. Walus akulu ka February. However, both the state and Mafia's defense have argued their case, and it's now up to the magistrate to weigh up these issues and consider whether Mafia is likely to run away from the allegations against him. If the government can assist me, I'll just stay at home and watch my DSTV. Still, we get a DSTV.